Hello. Let's talk about integers. The collection of whole numbers and negative numbers are called integers. You can write integers on number line. This is 0, which is neither positive nor negative integer. All positive integers are on the right hand side of this number line and all negative integers are on the left hand side of the number line. Let's begin with the properties of addition. Consider this example. 25 plus 5 is equal to 30. 25 plus minus 10 is equal to 15. So when you add two integers, the result is always integer. This is called closure property. We can say integers are closed under addition. If a and b are two integers, result a plus b is also integer. Let's see commutative property. Consider this example. 10 plus 20 is equal to 30 and 20 plus 10 is also equal to 30. Another example. 15 plus 12 is equal to 27 and 12 plus 15 is also equal to 27. So you can add integer in any order. The result will remain same. If a and b are two integer, you can add a and b in any order, a plus b or b plus a. The result will remain same. So we can say a plus b is equal to b plus a. Integers are commutative under addition. Let's see associative property. Consider this example. Minus 10 plus 8 plus 5. So that's equal to minus 10 plus 13. And the answer is 3. We can also write minus 10 plus 8 plus 5. So the answer is minus 2 plus 5 answer will remain same 3 so when you are adding 3 integers if you add second and third integer and then you add first or you may add first and second integer and then you add third the result will remain same this is called associative property so you can say integers are associative under addition. Let's see additive identity. Let's say a and b are two integers. If you add a and b, the result should be number a only. Then what's the value of number value of number integer b? Observe this example. 5 plus 0 is equal to 5. Now, if you add 0 to 5, the result will be 5. So, 0 is the additive identity for integer under addition. Now, let's see additive inverse. Observe this example. 1 plus minus 1, the result is 0. 5 plus minus 5, the result is 0. And 10 plus minus 10, the result is 0. So when you add two integers and the result is zero, both integers are called additive in inverse. Additive inverse of one is minus one and additive inverse of two is minus two and so on. Now let me summarize. Properties of addition. Closure property. Yes, integers are closed under addition. Commutative property. Yes, integers are commutative under addition. 
you can add integers in any order the result will remain same associative property yes you can add three integers in any order the result will remain same identity yes additive identity is zero if you add zero to any integer the result will be that integer only inverse yes additive inverse of one is minus one two is minus two add this two number the result will be zero